Hey guys, I'm Journey to the Cation, and today, Trevor Gamidi, Carol Hill, Kate White, Yo Xiao Liu, or something, uh, Miko Tagada, Liang Yanan, Paul Voss, Yoko Ishihara, Fredrik Zrinyi, Clara Lindgren, Sally Reed, and Inka Pavlova are about to take down a scout ship. We have changed things up a bit though. Carol Hill now has an apprentice in Kate White. Okay, these are our SWAT ladies, and they're going to do a fine, fine job with their stun batons and riot shields, okay? They're going to do great. Don't worry about it. We also have Trevor Gamidi, who now has a pistol as a sidearm, uh, because he can carry so much. I mean, we cannot fill his infantry any harder, you know? It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. I'm almost tempted just to give him a machine gun, but I don't think that, you know, is a sidearm. But I'm not sure that's necessarily the wisest thing in the world, even though... Technically, we could do that. <laughs> Just can you imagine? There's this absolute ninja. Shotgun in one hand, machine gun in the other. Basically Rambo. Amazing. But uh, that might be what we end up doing. Just because he, he's so strong. He's just so strong. Uh, also, you could carry more. Has your strength gone up a bit? I think their strength has gone up a bit since the last mission. Considerably, by the looks of it. So that's nice. You know, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, having a lot of those. Excellent. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good across the board. Anyway, let's go to that scout. We Boom. Let's commence the tactical battle. Mission briefing. Kill stuff, mill about in the house. Yeah, the drill. Um, and it is a night battle. It is a night battle. Good enough. Oh, I found a boy. I found a boy. Oh, can you shoot from there? Oh, you can as well. Oh, well, that's awesome. But I do want to stun him first. And Gamidi with your 800 time units. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but like really only a little bit. Nice. Can throw one more, but um probably get to cover, right? Yeah. Oh, found another one. But pretty great start. Scouted a lot of the area. Uh, I can hit that guy straight away. Uh, he's going to be a bit more of a problem, but I think we're still going to try and um, flashbang him. I think we're still going to try and do that. Okay, I don't like how just hovering over them when you have a melee weapon sets up that movement preview. I really don't like that. Uh, but fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so yeah, stunning someone. I don't know if we get them unconscious. Oh my god, again with it in the mood preview. Uh, if you stun them, I think you do end up with um, more money out of it. I think they're worth more alive. I was going to move you there. For the sake of hoofing this somewhere. Uh, God, you're not very strong. Alright, that helped. That helped. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so, uh, let's get you flashed. Brilliant. Uh, you can't shoot from there. That's okay. I'll forgive you. Wow. Absolutely wrecked him. I think we can just beat him to death now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can just bludgeon him. 0% chance to hit him somehow? What? What are you talking about? 25% of my time units, is that... Oh, okay, holding shift will tell me. It's a bit strange. Melee in this game, I feel. But, we got a live one. Nice. Now do we shove him in our purse? Age-old question. When you... When you... <laughs> bludgeon an alien to death. Do you shove him in your purse? A tale as old as time. 
All right, 50% chance. Good enough for me. All right, Ricardo. Yep, and we just press them too, which actually helps them out because now they're ducking. They're a smaller target, which is actually very good for them. Uh, I can try and shoot. So I will. Fine by me. Fine by me. Not great. Odds? Yeah. Nice. Not bad. 74% from here. Ishihara. Alright, alright. He's still, still alive, technically. Don't let that bother you guys, okay? He's just a little bit alive. can try and shoot from there, but actually, kind of rubbish. Oh, because of the wall. It's always the wall, isn't it? Bloody wall. Actually, can you shoot from there? Uh, no. Can't afford it. Whoops. Okay, he's in the way. She's in the way, rather. Okay, I guess... I guess I'm just going to put him here in Overwatch. That's fine. No skin off my teeth. Don't have any skin on my teeth at all. Imagine if I had teeth skin. That'd be revolting. Just awful. Just like the worst. Who would want that? There's also someone hidden away back there. Interesting. I hadn't realised that. Can I shoot from there? I mean, I, I can't. Alright, let's go there. It's fine. And yeah, I think just... Um, hope there's nothing over there. That's a good strategy, right? Yes. Yes, it is. I don't think we helped. I don't think we helped those other two people either. <laughs> they didn't move, though, which is interesting. Sort of asking to get... Um, Shot to bits. Ugh, do I want to start shooting now, or do I want to get another stun grenade in there? We've got another couple stuns, so. Oh, something did climb through there. I don't know if it was us or them, though. Couldn't tell you. Oh, that was odd. Holding shift didn't let me see what I was targeting properly. It was saying 0%. But that's fine. Alright, that'll do. And, oh no, we're one time unit shy. Aw. Oh well. Good shot. Good shot. She's really good. I'm really glad we got her on side. She's fantastic. She does not miss. She'd be a great sniper. Okay, let's get some more flares out. Okay. Good line of sight. Let's just move to here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get you guys shimmy across. We have a good sniper there. Uh, you have a shotgun, so let's get you over here. It's a sniper. That's a sniper. Okay, let's get you guys moving down this way. Come on, you're a bit rubbish, aren't you? So few time units. Okay, let's try and light this area up too. Okay, good. I'll take it. Uh, and then you guys. Okay, Sally Reed. Move that way, please. We have Yanan, who's also very capable. 
River only, Colonel. Frederick, Frederick Zrini. Very capable lad. Okay, I think. Oh, we've got you too. Perfect. Let's move you up a bit. And let's get you over here to Carter. And that'll do. We'll scout out this area and beyond. Oh, found one. We got a live one. Who no one seems interested in trying to fight. <laughs> he didn't seem interested in fighting us, though. Luckily, they have terrible eyesight. And it is night time. I do wonder if night time affects their ability to shoot us as well. Or see us, even. He's right there. Right there. Um, I won't have the time units to bludgeon him. I will with her, though. Okay, here we go. I mean, you can't reach him, so you can be the one to suppress him. Good job, Colonel. Good job. Uh, now, if I run around here, I can blast him in the face. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to bludgeon him, if he survives. He survived. Nice. Alright, Carol. <laughs> Mess him up. Excellent. We're going to sell them to, um... Oh, I don't know, hungry businessmen? <laughs> I have no idea. What, who are we selling these corpses to? I understand if we're giving them to, like, you know, different researchers around the world in order to, like, bigger stuff out about the aliens, but like would we really do it for money? Or would we just try and figure out who's the most uh, capable like researcher, you know? I know, I'm not actually going to that window, I'm uh... trying to scout Alright, real crappy odds, but screw it. <laughs> Take that wall. <laughs> yeah, just stuck in the wall up there. Fantastic. Well done. Well done, mate. Alright, mayday. Okay, what is that growling? That's horrible. Oh, I hate that. I hate the spooky... Was it you? It was you, isn't it? I to scare the life out of me. Cheeky sod. Oh, we have to walk around the cabbages. Whoops. Alright, so we've got the sniper. Might be worth just putting her upstairs for now. I mean, the alien ship's going to be over there, right? Right. Yeah, let's light up the roof better. And... Oh, what are you doing back there? Sally. Silly Sally. That's what they call her. They call her Silly Sally. Because her name's Sally and she's silly. Well, I didn't come up with it. It's what they call her. Okay. Oh, look at me. Like, I can come up with a better name than that. I just don't want to. Okay, let's get over here. Okay. Duck. Now let's move. Well, well. Okay, we're hearing very little. Very quick alien turns, which makes me think it's just like a Mindotron in their ship. I'm not sure they have anything else. But I'm not willing to, um, to put money on that. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought she was taking the door, and I was very confused. I mean, there's clearly no one here. Alright. 
this map feels exactly like maps that we've seen a million times. Um, which is bizarre. I'm pretty sure they are random to an extent. But I am starting to doubt that. I'm definitely... Maybe it's a bit of both, or maybe there's just certain tiles that take up the whole map. And so it's just if that tile populates the the map, then no others are, are put in, right? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Not a clue. Okay, that helps. But yeah, pretty sure this is going to be an alien ship right there. As is tradition. Still can't see it though, but it's there. Almost certainly. Also, last time we were around here, there was a, a thing over there, right? One of the drones, I think. So we've got to be a little careful. You know, potentially. Let's just try and throw another. Okay, we're starting to get too far to actually um, see anything now, I think. Make sure she's in the middle of the roof so nothing can shoot her. As they can, it doesn't look like she's still got line of sight. It's on a block cover, really. We're going to move over here. There's the ship. I'm going to close this door. Okay, don't like that. This is scary as hell. That is really spooky. Yeah, that is dead spooky. Which I love. Like, the systemic nature of this game. I mean, yes, I mentioned, like, it'd be nice to have something a bit more bespoke for, like, an alien invasion, or, like, maybe refine the, symptom the symptoms. The system, so you actually get, like, an interesting base defense mission, rather than just like a smattering of whatever. Um, but like, in certain cases, it's the systems that really like drive the game in a great way. Because like, this could have just been opened by a civilian and it's nothing to worry about. But it's a sign of life, a door being open, and it's freaky, especially in nighttime battles. Like, it's really good, it really sends the imagination running wild. Which, I absolutely adore. It's great when just like sandboxes, you know, do this to you. Okay, you need to get away from the alien ship. Why are you all running towards the alien ship? Come on. Okay, he good, good, he heard me. He heard me. Alright. Okay. There honestly could be stuff all around here. There really could be. I think we're largely okay, though. Do you think there'd be a... Uh... Do you think maybe it would be good if this game had torches? But, like, seriously, like, why, why couldn't you just in your equipment load out? Like, you can add extra armor panels. Why couldn't you add just a torch that goes on your armor? So when you turn, it lights up what you're looking at. Because I know they'd be able to see you better, but you'd be able to see the enemy, and you wouldn't have to waste time units on throwing flares every eight seconds. Which I think would be an interesting trade-off. Unless all the aliens just have night vision by default, and, you know, it's irrelevant. So there's not a trade-off, therefore... They don't want you to have it. But it does have a weight. It does have a weight. Right? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't exist, but it would do. It would have a weight. So, you know, it'd be good if we had had that. I think that would be nice. Um, ooh, hello. I found found a baddie. I found a baddie, guys. I found a baddie. And he's not looking at us. Uh, so if I run out there, he'll have 50 left, which means I can flashbang. Which means I can then shoot him safely. So I think that's what we're going to do. Surprise! 
I mean, he's probably just going to heal through this entirely. But, um, but what if he doesn't? What if he doesn't? Really? That's in a way there, okay. Can't hit from there. Okay. How about here? Is that fine? That is fine. Really not great odds. See what you can do. Well, not terrible, you know, not bad. Too far away. Not sure if Gamidi should have gone that way. That might have been a bad idea. I mean, he is, uh... Yeah, you guys aren't about to reach. Not with that way. Uh, although you can climb up all the way here, so you can get him next time. Gadget. Yeah, just go up here, and then crouch. Perfect. I'll take it. Just everything's so dark, it's so spooky. So spooky. Alright, and you can also crouch, right? Good! Yeah, he's, uh, he's only going to be able to shoot once, maybe. He might just run away. Oh, he might just kill that woman. Fair enough. I think we might have agitated him. Oh, no. Don't look. Okay. It's fine. I think we're fine. God, you can barely move, huh? I'm used to all of our, like, Olympic sprinters. Just, like, crushing it. I'm glad we got a bunch of rookies on the team, though. Just having some more people getting experience is useful. Can you shoot him from there? Sure can't. Sure can't. Alright, how about there? Uh, nope. How about that? Yes, technically, that tiny fence is in the way from the roof, which is confusing. Also, I just realised we haven't suppressed him yet. That was bold. Okay, uh, you have so many flash grenades. Just throw another one. It's fine. Good. <laughs> How are you looking? Uh, not great. You can move to there, though. 70%? I'll take it. Good job. And you just need to run all the way over here. You can't hit anyone. It's fine. You can, though. I think. Really hard to say, though. Okay, can you maybe move that way and then shoot? Chance we could hit him. <laughs> How? Can't can't actually Jesus alright how about there is that okay alright 50% that that wall is in the way somehow alright you might hit the man fine we'll say the aliens did it <laughs> perfect 69 damage mission accomplished alright cool so there's still something in there obviously um Okay. Oh, yeah, you can come up here too. So, we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we do. We're so spread out, it doesn't feel like we have 12 people running around. 12 is so many. Oh, he wants revenge. Oh, Jesus. Suicide by brain... man. Stephen Fry. Alright, let's get you over here. Good. Get you guys on the corner. Amazing number of time units on these two, seriously. Love me, my snipers. They're good boys. Uh, come day. Let's get you over here, shall we? Come out to... SWAT ladies, here we go in, just club some aliens to death, hilarious. 
Uh, although not to death, actually. It's the other one. Club them to life. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we slub more. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone. Everyone come along now. And he doesn't need to act this turn. Okay, they don't need to. They don't need to act. What do they? No, they don't need to act. Okay. And then... Mayday. Uh... So... Yeah, there is a chance I can hit our own people. I'm going to have to have Carol duck. I mean, they are going to have to waste four time units. But, um, honestly, yeah, fine. Fine. Okay, Yanan. And Sally Reed. Sure. That'll do. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. No wow. No wow today. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, I, I, there's an alien. There's an alien, guys. There's an alien. Hate to be the one to tell you this. But there's an alien. I might just hit him. If I do, we won't get flashed. It's fine. Yeah, thought as much. Alright, uh, start blasting. Sure. Nice. Uh, can't actually aim for you. That's sad. Can start clubbing. Can start clubbing. Do I want to start clubbing? I think I might. Oh, you can barely reach in. Yeah, it's only you who can club. Um, you can get some shots in now, though, can't you? I mean, 92% is pretty damn good. Yeah, let's get him out of the way. Good. And then, uh... Let's move Carol over here. Alright, then... Ooh, we can move you in, too. Oh, that sounds like fun. I was thinking we could throw in Gamede, but actually... Let's see if we can just, um... Just, you know, have him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Okay, nicely done, folks. Nicely done. Alright. Everyone was fine. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it. And our two, it's our SWAT team that actually got uh, both promoted. Amazing. So we captured three aliens. So the only reason to do this, I think, is I think they might be worth more money. So let's have a look. Base doors. Uh, captured civilian. God, where's oh civilian corpse? Four grand captured one. Twenty grand. That's right. We are now selling aliens to zoos for a huge profit. Hell yeah. That's how we do it. Uh, Mentark not worth as much for some reason. Five hundred shy. I feel like that's. Is that like a typo? Or or what? What is that? Is there like a weird economy? Also, the Mentark corpses are worth almost as much as the Mentarks, which is odd. Huh. Yeah, is that like a, a living economy? Or is that just like these have been entered in strangely? I don't know. Very odd. But anyway, let's make 60k on... Um, on those live... I was going to say live corpses. That's... Not how words are. Uh, let's throw these in, in as well. Here you go, you can have them too. Alright, having a sale on civilians. Cool. Oh, look at them! These are our quantum laboratories. Very nice. They do look swankier. They do look swankier. Uh, so how are we doing everything else? Engineering capacity is quite high. Research capacity, we can actually get a lot more researchers, which is something that I haven't been doing. 
Uh, how much are they? Uh, oh, they're 50k each. They are not cheap. They are not cheap. I think we just have to make do with the fact that our current research facilities are very impressive. Oh my god, it's 15 again. I can't do anything about this. Oh, they're going to keep doing that, aren't they? Alright, look. Let's get engineering vehicles. No nope, aircraft. How much are you? 350k. That is just too much. We're on day 90, though. We're about to get paid like a couple million. I think we might be. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that'll do. Expenses are fairly high. But uh, even then, we seem to get a bunch of cash in there, so that's nice. And it has gone up. It has been going up. So that's pretty swell. Alright. <laughs> now we're in that annoying position where do I waste my time getting the crap interceptors? Um, or do I not get the crap interceptors? Do I get a nanotech workshop? Get that out of the way, then I can build stuff way quicker, you know? That doesn't seem like a bad idea. God, it takes two days to make each one. I'm going to build the nano ones first. Alright, then we're going to have a look at researching better interceptors, I think. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Although I can speed up the research pretty handsomely, but then I might end up just over-bloody spending again. Um, okay, that's all the research. 350k. I mean, that's not awful, to be fair. That isn't terrible. And here, do I want to get my last hanger? Maybe. That's the training room, right? Yes, yeah, so we will have that full soon. I won't get another hanger yet. Not until we can start filling these. It'll take time to build the ships, so I won't bother yet. I feel like we're going to start seeing, like, battleships and stuff soon. And yeah, panic is getting higher and higher over here. Asia a little bit, but we're keeping Europe pretty bloody happy, honestly. We're kind of nailing it. Could build a new base somewhere. Alien Origins. After carefully monitoring many hours of transmissions from the captured Mentark that we didn't sell, I successfully gained access to the hyperdrive systems and the pre uh, precious navigational data within. The contents were somewhat of a surprise. I have struggled for some time to understand how hyperdrive technology could possibly function across interstellar distances. Let me guess, different dimension. Um, the energy required increases with range, and even a jump from the closest star systems, uh, roughly five light years, would require unfathomable amounts of energy. The truth is simple. Our primitive minds fundamentally misunderstood the purpose of the hyperdrive. Our alien foes are not using the device to traverse our universe. Instead, they would remain in roughly the same physical location and jump across the multiverse. Explaining the concept of multidimensional travel succinctly is difficult, but it appears a great many alternate dimensions are actually far closer to us in terms of energy expenditure required to reach them than Proxima Centauri. Our enemies thus also originate from Earth, but the Earth of a distant dimension that may differ greatly from our own. These Eternals seem to be interdimensional explorers, searching the multiverse for worlds where multicellular life has evolved. It appears only a handful of such dimensions exist. Out of many thousands recorded within the hyperdrive, I suspect the various alien species we've encountered were once the dominant life forms of their worlds, only to be conquered and enslaved by the Eternals. Each represents a different evolutionary path for Earth, had chance unfolded differently. At the centre of the hyperdrive map sits the Eternal Homeworld, the seat of their empire from which the invasion must originate. We must eventually attack this world if we are to triumph, yet we know too little about our foes to identify where this blow should fall. Capturing alien units, particularly high-ranking ones, for interrogation should solve this problem, furnishing us with sufficient information to devise a suitable plan of attack. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And now we need to make a quantum array, apparently. Or is that just going to be a better radar dish? Possibly. Um, you interrogate some more Burks. Yeah, let's get the Phantom Interceptor, right? We're doing it. We're doing it. And then engineering base upgrades Quantum Array. Upgrades our existing radar structures to Quantum Ones. Uh, it'll cost a million. Wow. 
and unlock additional information about statue of foes. That's interesting. Um, oh god. Alright, the dragonfly dropship was... Okay, so that's 300, that's 350. That's 500, so maybe the other ones will be 600k? Once we research them, so maybe I'll do this. Almost got the Nantech workshop done. So that'll certainly speed this up. Possibly make it cheaper, I don't know. Not sure. God, letting laser cannons on our vehicles might be nice. But that'll only be the Mars, right? The sentry guns already seem to have machine guns on them for some reason. God, I don't know. This feels like it's something worth doing, but maybe not yet. Maybe we actually leave this till next month. Because uh, if we have a look at the geoscape, right? If I click Construct New Base, that is not a huge extra circle, is it? It's not a huge amount of extra range. Um, the next upgrade along. But the extra information we get might be the thing that unlocks the, like, oh, this has an alien commander on that we need to beat with sticks. Something like that. You know, it's hard to know. It's hard to know um, quite what that'll unlock. But the extra range is minimal. You know, it's minimal bonus there. I think we're fine just with this range, provided that we have the ships to destroy everything within that range. So I think we'll we'll keep our money for, um, for aircraft. That's the plan. Oh boy. Do I get an interceptor on the way, though? I am tempted just to get one interceptor building. Because like this, if we have like a couple of these in each base, a couple of these and a phantom, for instance, that's going to be better and cheaper than having just going straight to having all phantoms. Um, so I think it will help. We can send two from this base over to here while when the phantom's nearly built, and then yeah, then we can send another phantom over. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But we have built storerooms. That's nice. We did need one of those. Uh, and seven scientists just arrived. And we have a nanotech workshop. And now we're building an angel interceptor. It takes a day and ten hours. Um, so it doesn't make things cheaper. But that'll only take a day and ten hours now. So that's saving like... What's like 30% better? Something like that? Seems pretty good. Oh, do they look snappy? Do they look cool? Uh, yeah, they do. They do look quite cool. How about that? God, we've barely done a thing in the last few days. Just no aliens. We have an angel interceptor. Okay. Okay. So, look at our research. Four more days. Uh, we have four interceptors here now. Do I send two of them away? Or do I just send one and start building a second one? now. I'm just wondering if it's worth having four <laughs> ships here, you know? I will need to fill up the other one, though. I will need to fill up the other base. I don't want to go yet. Don't want to run off yet. So, Angel 4, what did you give it? Alright, just that by default. That's fine. So yeah, I think uh, the same thing applies as before. I think the, the accelerated weapons are the same tier as the laser ones, I think. Essentially. Um, and I think we will need the Skylance torpedoes for like the big stuff that's showing up soon. Which I assume is showing up soon, anyway. Alright, we're just going to move things along for now. Or am I? You know, I think we are going to transfer one. Let's do it. Uh, how do I? Do I just change relocate aircraft is what I do? Okay, Angel 4. Relocate. Cut to quattle. Done. Okay, good. And how are we looking? Two more days. I think we wait the two more days. And we have the laser battery in Zeus. Excellent. Okay, good. Phantom Interceptor. Looks cool. Uh, has two cannon hardpoints. No missiles, just cannons. Okay, interesting. Um, 
So the X-55 Phantom is the first interceptor aircraft designed specifically for battling alien UFOs. It's faster, tougher and more agile than relatively primitive X-25 Angel, while still capable of carrying a similar weapon payload. Except the way the payload is different. Okay. Much of this increased performance is a result of the vast power output of the ER-1 Alenium reactor housed within its fuselage. This can drive the twin turbojet engines at astonishing speeds, allowing the interceptor to cruise at three times the speed of sound. As such, the airframe of the Phantom has been heavily reinforced with alien materials. This prevents it from disintegrating under the tremendous forces generated by flying at such speeds, but also makes the aircraft substantially more resistant to enemy fire. We have also hardened the avionics and cockpit electronics to withstand the EMP effect of extraterrestrial energy weapons, allowing these instruments to be used in combat. Our pilots can thus perform sharper turns and more extreme tactical maneuvers without losing control of the aircraft. This makes the Phantom superior to our existing interceptors in almost every way. Although a significant investment of funds and materials would be required to construct one, it would no doubt prove invaluable in the battle for control of our skies. Alright. UFO hull plating next, I think. See if we can get better armour. Now, what's the damage? Phantom interceptor, only 500k. It's the same price as the, uh, as the dropship. Uh, actually, it costs less than the dropship. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Three days is all I need. Uh, crap. Okay, hang on. I think we build one, then we queue up another one. We're going to build one, move an angel across, build another one, move that phantom across, and then maybe build another one, because... Why wouldn't we just replace all of our interceptors with them, right? Just seems clever to do that, no? Just have the best ones. And in fact... Ugh, I mean, decommission aircraft. Just, it'll delete it. I mean, it did say sell last time, we got no money out of it. I'm not sure we do get any money out of it. So just having spares isn't a terrible idea. Honestly. Almost tempted to build another hangar here. Just so we don't have to get rid of any of them. You know, we can just really stock up on um, on aircraft. We'll build it. Then hangars aren't actually that expensive compared to the cost of a ship. So if you look at it, instead of like 500k per ship, make it 600k, because it's a ship and a hangar. And I think that's probably, you know, makes it sound alright, you know. Makes it sound a lot less frivolous. Okay, we have another hangar. Where the hell are the enemy ships? It's been 10 days and nothing has happened. This is really nerve-wracking. I'm really glad we're building ships. Another panic. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, it's an abduction site. Not a, um, terror mission. This is awesome. Okay, definitely go deal with that. So this is really good. Um, the fact that this is lowering panic level across the board is sublime. That is such a useful thing. I, I hope we have more abduction missions. I hope aliens try and abduct more of our citizens, because apparently our citizens love that. They can't wait to get abducted. Um, oh, no, no, it's us being seen to prevent it. Okay, yeah. No, no, they love abductions, I've decided. Um, also, 24% endgame progress. It's getting up there. Let's launch a combat team. I'm a little bit terrified of that. Do we want an escort? You can't send an escort. That's a bit weird. I'm sure the dragonflies can get attacked. Oh, well. Uh, Phantom 1 has 50% armor. Oh, because it's being built. That'll, that'll be why. I was going to say, why? That's why. Oh, I'm nervous. Abductions are scary. The fact that it's given us so long between anything happening. There were scouts all over the place, and then it just dried up completely. Yeah, it makes me think something is coming. And I don't like that much. Uh, but we do have the dream team, alright? We have Gamede, we have uh, Carol Hill, Kate White, uh, Liao Xiao Leo. Emiko Takada Liang Yanan, Paul Voss, Yoko Ishihara, Frederick Zrinyi, Clara Lindgren, Sally Reed, and Inga Pavlova. Okay, it's a dream team. Don't care what anyone says. You can't quite fit that, can you? No, you can't. But that's a pretty minimal difference, so I'm willing to do it anyway. Same with you. No, I'm not. You can barely move. Don't bother. Uh, but no, we're good. I like the squad. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a good bunch. We don't have any machine gunners, which I think is probably a bit of a, you know, bit of a shame, but I'm not sure we necessarily want machine gun fire flying all over the place in an abduction mission. 
that might be a bad idea so we'll see but anyway we're gonna end it here guys so if you enjoyed this comment like subscribe i'll see you in the next one take care guys